Okay, for the future, and I'm going to um, make recommendation here about, about uh, the new functionality we have on the PWG website here. As you can see, I'm on the page right now, and I would like to uh, talk about events first. So we have a calendar and a new way of getting tickets for our, our events. Um, I'm under the menu upcoming events now, and um, I see test events that I have entered here, so I'm reloading the page, and now it's gone. See now that uh, our events look a little different. Right here, um, see the text that is there. Um, then you see that you can include that into your own calendar, and then you can see the choice of having a ticket for you if you are a member in our organization or a guest ticket. Uh, the main information about uh, the event with note that is there. Uh, I can see that there is something in this text here. And then have the venue and the location on Google Maps. A message here. Okay, so now how does the back end of this look? Now the browser and the event that we that we just looked at, which was uh, first of all on the the um, menu point here on the left side called events, and then a list of events that is there. And as you can see. I'm on this page here of the events. So we have a lot of events already entered that we would have to um, get into again to um, update to the new versions. And here, March meeting, which was happening yesterday. So I'll go into this um, event uh, in detail. See, this is all the same as we had it before. You have a a title, a big uh, window for the text, uh, the date of the event. In event calendar, you can choose the location. Um, I have a little bit uh, looked the event there and cleared it out. At some point, the Google uh, Maps do not show, then it's connected to um, exact address details missing in the event location. Um, you have a point in this member in this events plugin called Venues, uh, where you can add that text, that address as a text, and then it will work. The checkbox, uh, the Google um, Maps links here. You also have either you can have an additional web page, and then the possibility to enter a note here, which uh, where I have. The mistake. So, okay, and then the uh, important part we have to add tickets here. And um, when you um, basically have to create these tickets through this button, new ticket. Um, but in, uh, in this case, um, and I don't want us to look at this, I will come back to that and go through it, through it with you. I'll show you here that. You can how you can view uh, who has registered for the event. So you click uh, view attendees and they get this overview here uh, of the event, list of the people who have registered for it with their emails. And you have the budget to email, export this or print. And let me show you. I just give you the preview here. So you have a list for the event which can already be used for the. Um, person who is uh, doing the registration at the event. I think uh, this is quite a idea that makes things faster. So I click this and now. And okay, so I think, and then you also have all here, which is the same. We actually from a different uh, viewpoint. 
lots of numbers where the aggregators every ticket gets the number. Okay. So this was one event, and now let me show you how it works to go to an event that does not have this ticketing function yet. Okay. Events have been imported um, into this new, uh, basically they don't have the tickets yet. So I will choose one here. I worked yesterday and added some um, information already for the May meeting. So I'll go into the next one. I'm not using this one because it's a draft, but I'll use one here, the top hand support group meeting to it. And then we have the standard text here that we have. There's a couple of uh, Things that here that for some reason got uh, imported into it, and also um, delete because we now have a direct add to the link. Here is okay. The local agenda, and I put the Google Apps as well here. Um, a letter is the organizer here. Um, you want that uh, it's possible to put a note here, which is will be shown um, right next to uh, uh, fields of event. And then what we have to create here is the following. We have to say the ticket. I add new ticket, number ticket, and then I'm choosing here capacity, unlimited capacity, and I say save ticket. And then I add another new ticket, ticket, I have unlimited capacity, and I put the value of 20 francs here, save ticket. So sometimes I'm wrong, you can easily go back inside here. Um, I can show you here. Here, here it says it blank for free ticket. This is what I did, so I did not enter the, the zero here. So I also delete it here and say save ticket. Or actually, it would cancel. And the ticket is the same here. Guest ticket, limited capacity, and the price of 20. We have the option to set the capacity. Say we are that only has 20 feet. So um, we can add that, that functionality here to safeguard this. So now we have ticket. Um, and the rest we will fill out. Uh, one important thing is also the event categories. So this one is a top and support group. So we will tick here and say update. And now to the event to make sure everything is the way we want it to be. Here, event with the duration possibility and the information about the event and the Google things. And if you want to, you just uh, then go J1 here on member ticket and say add to the cart. Then this will be like a shopping cart functionality. So I'll a ticket to proceed to check out. Um, if you already have your details here, the fields that we need are first name, last name, and the address. You also have information here to look if you can help the event or if you can write a review. You can this here and then say place order. We did you even email uh, that you have just this ticket, in this case, it's for free. And um, you will be able, as an organ, this has happened, uh, and a person has signed up. So I'm back inside here now. And maybe I'll do a reload page. And I can go up under 
English here and you can see my ticket. Okay, which uh, all about event. Let me see if I can add a few more information. He told you about the list of venues. I've also told you about the list of organizers here. This should be something we can use. Let me uh, check here into one of them. Um, I'll take the example here and say edit. So we have only the name here. So we have the opportunity here to do some branding for ourselves and add some more little bio here. Then let me show you settings. Under settings, uh, a couple of things. There's a natural thing, of course. There is this um, place here called play. And uh, uh, here you can find this as a template setting here with a small text that um, always add it before an event and the text added after the event. Okay, then what we have here in the settings is normally not what you have to change. Uh, that's it, I think. Yeah. Okay, so to the list events, this is what we'd have to do for all of our future events as well. And, and um, with any help, uh, please get in contact with me. I know I'll be able to answer all questions, but I'll, I'll try, of course.